The success of 5G will require the full support of the telecoms industry, but it may introduce significant changes to the established ecosystem. The necessary innovation depends on the whole industry working together, at least as much as commercial realities permit. CSPs such as Orange have already established joint innovation labs and startup accelerators to encourage this collaboration. We consider that um, innovation now is a collaborative work. So uh, this is why we have not only opened some uh, um, places, venues like uh, IoT labs, like 5G labs, uh, places where people can come and work together, uh, co-innovation places, campus like Orange Garden near Paris where we're welcoming partners, uh, manufacturers, companies, startups. Uh, this is why uh, we have also created Orange Fab, a set of accelerators, incubators for startups. Uh, we think that we will never innovate alone on that and that's very important to have that as places where people can work together and also resources like what we're proposing through Orange Partner, Orange Developer Site is a site where we are having all the APIs and SDKs that anyone can use even in the middle of the night uh, to bring some new products, some new ideas thanks to all these innovation uh, blocks. I strongly believe that uh CloudNet will be a strong enabler for 5G deployment. Uh, first of all, because with CloudNet, if we aim to uh, achieve a total decoupling from infrastructure, from hardware to the software, so we see CloudNet as an environment which is app friendly, and we will start treating uh, even network function as an app. You can imagine how this could make easier and faster the deployment of the network, the mapping of the network for different uh, use cases, so helping very much uh, to achieve a better time to market, which has been not our main point of strength during past years. This decoupling of uh, infrastructure, hardware and software will definitely open up the market of vendors. Uh, first of all, you as operator will have the, the opportunity to use much broader set of, uh, let's say, hardware vendors, because hardware in some sense will be commoditized. On the other side, you will have a lot of uh, company focusing on software only. So smaller company compared to the previous years, and they will be able to enter, uh, enter this market. Of course, this will bring some challenges, because uh, you will you put together different software pieces, you will put together part of open source, maybe you will need uh, much uh, more support from integrator, like mm, let's say uh, some partners helping you to glue everything together to make it scalable, to make the small customization, customization you will need in order to make it career grade. 5G is also leading to some radical thinking from regulators and policymakers who are eager to open up the supply side and create more economic opportunities, especially for technology and networking startups. Our concern is that you know, the supply chain has been very restricted and there's not enough global suppliers out there. Part of that is that um, the operators have, let's say, a lot of needs that are specific to the large-scale rollouts and, um, and so there hasn't been a lot of choice there and it's very difficult for a new startup to come out even with the backing of a, a spin-out from a university for example um, to, to actually get a relationship with an operator because um, they can be quite conservative in that field they've got a lot of millions of customers that they, that they worry about which is you know, understandable However, by allowing these smaller players, smaller systems, smaller networks where they, who can manage their own risk but actually can secure that risk through various means of security in a standardized way and dipping into a global ecosystem which is being pushed by for the 5G standards, allowing them to, um, to actually have a wider choice of who they deploy you know, in a controlled manner, uh, that's a huge market for a startup and actually there's a much better chance that some of those startups can get an anchor customer and then if they do a really good job, they will get more customers. And I think that's fantastic. That's going to be groundbreaking because today you've got a very small range of customers and it's a big risk to actually put a lot of investment for a new startup and try and break in. Whereas now you will have a much more a wider range of customers, which means we should see a more diversity of the ecosystem, which is good for everybody. So I'm hoping that we'll see what we've already seen in the last year 
working together with DCMS in the UK and the UK 5G organization, collaboration across a range of trials with government funding, with Ofcom involved, with the operators involved, with the researchers, with the local authorities involved. That framework, I think, is a really good building block for the future, and I'd like to see more collaboration of that type, because I think the bigger picture is that there's room for everybody.